guys, Jordy here from Premier Basics, and what do you guys think of my new haircut? Hmm? Just kidding guys, my name is Timon and I'm the new guy. Jordi is on a little work vacation to Iceland, so today I'm gonna take his place to do the presentation. Also, thank you guys for the nice welcome comments on the last video. I really appreciate that. Let's get into the video. Today I wanna show you guys how you can improve your videos using sound design. And as an example, we shot a small sketch of me rushing off to work because Jordi wants me to finish an edit. But then the PC of course crashes. Now to start off, we recorded high quality sound effects ourselves, inside as well as outside. This is called Foley, it's a sound design technique technique where you record your own sounds and synchronize them with the video. This technique has been invented by Jack Foley way back in the 1920s. You can get really creative with this. For example, if you want a sound of your arm breaking, but you don't really want to break your arm for that, just use some vegetables. So definitely try that out. Once you recorded all your sounds, drag and drop them into your project. I'm a pretty organized person, so I organized all my sounds by giving them a name and putting them in folders. This way it's so much easier to browse through your own sound effects. If you don't have a microphone or don't want to record your own sounds for some reason, you can also download your royalty-free sounds from the internet. Behold our sketch. The first thing we're gonna do is synchronize our sounds. Let's take this clip for example. You can see me stepping out of my car and closing the door. Simply find a door closing sound and drag it underneath your clip. Find the exact frame where the door closes and make a cut. That way we know where we need to put our sound. Go to your audio clip and make a cut at the loudest part of the sound. Then simply place the audio underneath your video and as you can see, the audio clip snaps to the exact spot where it needs to be. Now let's do the same thing with my footsteps. Drag your sound into your timeline, synchronize them and look at that. Awesome. I also recorded some outside ambience and placed it underneath my sounds. This way you can hide the silence between your Foley sound effects. The purpose is that you do this for the entire clip. Let's do one more together. Here we have a clip of me making coffee, because you know, I'm an addict. Just kidding, it's water. As you can see, I'm putting my keys on the shelf. Again, drag the sound underneath the video and synchronize it. Now do the same thing with the other actions in the video. Picking up the coffee pad, putting it inside the machine and closing it up. I also recorded an inside ambience because you know, Janik, Lorenzo and Timo are also working here. So I recorded their noises. Put it underneath the video and there you go. That sounds awesome. Just like this song, right? And how cool is that, that we can use this awesome song in our video? Now guess what? We don't even have to be scared that we lose our monetization. And this all because of Licked, the sponsor of today's video. Licked is a music library where you can license popular sharp music, which you can then use in your monetized social media videos. For example, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and this all 100% claim free. And besides awesome sharp music, they also have a stock music library with over a million high quality songs. So you can say that Licked is a one-stop music shop for every creator. And now you're probably thinking, this is going to be pricey. Absolutely not. Downloading and licensing sharp music from Licked is super, super cheap. You can just pay per license. Or if you want to use a stock library, you can just get a subscription to that. And the best thing is that by supporting Licked, you're also supporting the artist whose music you license. So it's a win-win. Like you can hear, with Licked, you can really step up the quality of your videos and set them apart from the rest, resulting in more growth for your YouTube channel or other social media. So go check them out and get 50% off your first chart track and 14 days free stock music by using the link in the description below. Let's get back to Premiere and our first clip of me crawling out of my car. We're going to adjust the volume of our audio clips because this will give you a reference point of how your final video should sound. As you can hear, this door slam is way too loud. So turn it down. My footsteps are also killing my ears, so turn down the volume of that too. Now the outside ambience is a little bit too low, so increase the volume until it matches with the door sound and the footsteps. We're doing this to make it sound completely natural, as if the sounds were actually coming from the video. Same thing for the keys. Decrease the volume. Me closing the coffee machine is also way too loud, so turn that down too. Now we're using this technique of recording every sound separately, so we have the most control over every sound that is playing in the scene. This way we can emphasize certain actions in a subtle way. Like for instance, coffee dripping in the cup while I was making it. If we would record all the sounds at the same time while shooting, the dripping sound would probably be unhearable. With our technique, you won't have this problem as we can control everything into the smallest details. To make our audio sound as if they were actually there, we're gonna need some effects. Our footsteps sound a little bit too bassy, so basically unnatural. Simply search for the parametric equalizer and drop it onto your clip. Navigate to the effect controls and open up the EQ. Now this is called the frequency spectrum. The low frequencies are located on the left, the highs on the right, and the mids, of course, in the middle. Now to turn down the bass of my footsteps, we need to cut away the low frequencies. Create a high pass band by clicking on this button and dragging this little square to the right until it sounds right. But be aware because you don't always have to do this. For example, when you're running on a wooden staircase, this sounds more bassy in real life, so we're not gonna cut away the low frequencies. 
Now this shot takes place inside our filming hall, so there's a lot of echo there. To recreate that effect, open up Essential Sounds from the Window drop-down menu. In the Creative tab, you can add reverb. Add a subtle amount of reverb so that it doesn't sound like it's recorded in a big church. Sounds amazing. Another way to really enhance your sound design is to use panning. What's that? Let me explain. You can take a sound and send the signal to the left or the right. Now we can also automate that. Look at me walking from the left side to the right side of the video. That's the drinker. To change the panning of the audio, select your footsteps audio clips. Right click and select nest. Give it a name and hit enter. Now right click on the small effects icon. Navigate to panner and click on balance. Nice. Now go to the beginning of your clip where I'm at the left side and right click while holding control. This creates a keyframe. Drag it up to pan your audio to the left. Don't overdo this because then your audio will only play at the left side of your headphones. Next, go to the end of your clip where I'm on the right side and create another keyframe. Simply drag it down and there you go. Premiere will follow this line we just created and our sound will go from left to right. Now it sounds way more realistic. This is also done in movies, by the way. For example, when a car is going from the left to the right. And that's how easy it is to create your own phony sound design. Like the video if you learned something new because the YouTube algorithm will really appreciate that and you're also helping the channel grow by doing so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you Lick for the support and it's so cool to say this out loud for the first time. Stay creative. Now Jordi always says that there's a cool video on my left so definitely check that out. And of course don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more awesome Premiere Pro tutorials. No, so I gotta do something weird to leave the set or... Or what? Well, how does it work? What do I have to do? <laughs> <laughs>